All right, Fit Body Nation. So today we're gonna be tearing it up with our upper body Tuesday workout. We've got 14 exercises that's gonna touch on everything from our chest to our triceps to our shoulders to our back to our bicep, our entire upper body just like normal. So it won't take but about 15 minutes. Rest is included. This one's not a super, super fast paced workout, but it's a great toning workout. But before we start, check this out. This shirt, if you can see it, this is the first uh, fitness company I ever owned, all right? Over 10 years ago. It was called Fit Life OKC. I actually found this shirt wadded up in a box and it smells awful. But I figured I wanted to wear it in tradition. So, 10 years, old school. I wonder if that website still works. I doubt it. Actually, no, it doesn't because I didn't pay for the domain to stay alive. All right, so grab your dumbbells. Let's start this thing up. So we're going to be starting with a push-up for one minute. Take it slow on this. You can do a wide push-up or shoulder width. I'm doing mine wide. We're going to start out at three, two, one. Let's do this thing. Now, like I said, there'll be plenty of rest in between. So you can push yourself to the max during the minutes that are, we are working. There you go. Good. Keep it up. Excellent. All right. Keep moving on this. we got 45 seconds. If you need to drop down to your knees, go for it or just keep it in a straight body and slow your reps down. Okay, there you go. Good. You're gonna get a good pump on this one today. You're gonna build some muscle. There you go. And you're gonna burn some fat. Equaling out to a good toned body. There you go. 35 seconds in. Keep working on this, keep pushing. Woo! There we go, that's it, keep moving. Come on. 15 seconds. There we go, excellent. You've got 10 seconds left, keep moving. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now I apologize, there's actually people mowing in the neighborhood, so you might hear a lawnmower going every now and again. All right, make sure you got your dumbbells. We're gonna go into a chest press on this next one. So, you'll be on your back. There we go, we're starting at about 15 seconds. So on your back, I want you to keep the dumbbells nice and wide with the press. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Just pressing up, right back down. Good. There we go. That's it. Keep moving. Come on, you got this. Keep working on it. One full minute. Ooh, this shirt it really stinks. There we go. I don't know if I ever wore it, but whatever it was in within that box, whew, I may have to change it on the next day of rest. Here we go. But for now, let's keep pressing, keep pushing. Push those dumbbells up. Come on. You got this. We got 30 seconds left. Good. Good, good, good. Keep moving. Keep them together. Bring them down the same time. Press them up at the same time. There you go. Eight seconds. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I'm going to change my shirt. And I brought another one out here just for that reason. All right, keep resting. Nice, light, cooler shirt, even though I have sweatpants on and it's hot outside. But this morning it was actually cooler, so it made sense. All right, we're going to be going to the next exercise. The next one's gonna be a shoulder press, so grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. All right, so shoulder press, I want you to bring them up at the same time, lower them back down at the same time. No twisting the wrist or anything like that, just straight up and right back down, in control. Good, that's it. Come on, you got this. Keep it up, keep moving. There we go, good. Right on track, no more excuses, no more interruptions of smelly shirts, just presses. Good. Come on, try to keep from setting them down. Press up, right back down. You can keep your feet at shoulder width, a little bit wider, help your balance. Come on, almost there. You got this. You got 10 seconds left. You're doing good, keep moving, come on. Five, four, three two and relax good 
All right, shake it off, 30 seconds, plenty of time, plenty of time. The next one we're gonna do is a reverse fly. So this one, we're gonna go nice and wide with the dumbbells, okay? Now, a lot of the blood is in your chest and your shoulders, actually, okay? So the first few reps, start slow with it. We don't wanna pull any muscles. And we're gonna start, we're off our time. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this. All right, we got four seconds off our time. That's all right. Okay, keep moving on this. Nice, good reverse fly. We will have a fitness tip of the day as well, okay? We'll do it during our one minute rest. Right in the middle of the workout. All right, keep moving. Nice wide flies, bring them up. There you go, squeezing those shoulder blades together when you do this. Perfect, 30 seconds left, we're halfway. That's it. Good, good, come on, keep moving. We're almost there. Keep a nice tight grip on the dumbbells. You don't want to drop them on your toes. Rep after rep, bringing them up. Nice and controlled, not too fast. It's not slow either though. Good. One rep after the next. That's it. Come on. Eight seconds. We're gonna get every second. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, relax. Perfect. Okay. Got grass blowing on me. Okay. Now we're gonna do a side lateral. Now, just like I did last week when we did a front lateral, you can alternate if the dumbbells are too heavy for you or at the same time. I'm gonna start out doing them at the same time. Your choice on how you do it. All right, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. So bring the dumbbells right up to your chin. Control them, going back down. You can alternate from side to side. There you go, it makes it a little bit easier, but not a whole lot, okay? Good. So we're gonna take a good minute on this. Good solid minute of work. Here we go, that's it. Come on, bring it up, full body on this one, full body. We're touching on everything. We got 30 seconds and counting, make it happen, come on. Don't skip it, don't waste it, there we go. Good, there we go, that's it. Keep moving, 18 seconds. We're almost there. We got another 30 second rest coming up, so keep pushing. Keep on moving with it. Eight seconds. Come on, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, catch your breath. Okay. Felt like I skipped something, but I didn't. All right, bicep curls are gonna be next. The way we're gonna do these, we're gonna bring them up at the same time, okay? Same time, bringing them up. Whew, got 15 seconds. All right, five seconds in four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. So, bring them up, right back down, nice control. No swinging, up in control, back down in control. There you go, good, just like that. Perfect. Don't rush through this one. Pace yourself on it. That way we've got good clean form all the way through. Good, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, you can do this, you're looking good. Alternate it just like this if you need to, okay? Again, it makes it a little bit easier, but don't rush through it, don't swing the movement. Come on, you can do this. Keep moving with me. Keep moving, rep after rep. That's it. Come on, a few more seconds. You got 15 seconds left, 15 seconds. There we go. Once your muscles are rested up, you can go back into doing them at the same time. You can stay alternating. Good, just don't swing and keep it in perfect form. And relax, good. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing a tricep kickback. Tricep kickback. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds on both arms. So we'll be bent over, kicking back, just like that, okay? 30 seconds on both sides. 10 seconds till we start. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. All right, you can see me, here we go. Kicking it straight back, keep those elbows up. Good, there you go, that's it, perfect, come on. 
And I just rest my opposite arm on my knee over here. Keep that elbow pointed up, pinned into your side, pinned into your back. Good, 15 seconds left, you can do this. Come on, we're almost there. That's it, eight seconds, and we're switching to the other side. Get another rep out, come on. Switch it around, other side, here we go. It's the same thing, back bent over, good. You got this, come on, keep those elbows up, keep working. There we go, we got it, we got it, keep moving. Come on, 18 seconds and counting. Apologize, the wind is blowing. There we go, right into the microphone. 10 seconds. Good, 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 you got it. We're almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, relax, 30 seconds. Okay. All right, perfect, so that's actually a resting point. So now we've got one minute to rest. So a couple fit tips of the day for you. Create a fail-proof environment, okay? So when you go to the grocery store, don't be tempted to buy the crap that you don't need. And another fit tip, get you some new health gear, meaning new music, new clothes, new kicks. Me, I love music. New music, the, the right song just gets you going. You can kill the next two months of working out when you got the right music playing in the background and me cheering you on, on the screen, in front. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna be going into for one minute is gonna be a side try push up. We're gonna complement it with the tricep kickbacks that we just did. So, on your side, Take your right hand, put it under your left armpit, all right? The other hand goes on top of the shoulder. We're gonna be pressing for 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So pushing straight up. That means the palm of your hand should be pushing straight into the ground. That allows your body to come up off the ground, focusing everything into your triceps. Make sense? Good, there you go. You really feel it in your triceps. You might feel it in your elbow just slightly, okay? But not too much. It does take a lot of strength to get this exercise. It's basically a one-arm push-up. And flipping it over, now. Here we go. All right. I gotta transition around. You should be able to just flip straight over though. Good. So it took us about eight seconds to transition, so I'll go ahead and I'm gonna add eight seconds on. So that way we get our full 30 seconds on both sides, okay? So same thing, this time your left hand should be under your right armpit and your right hand on top of your left shoulder. Like you're hugging yourself, sideways, kind of. There you go, good, excellent. Eight seconds left, final eight seconds, keep pressing. Come on, five seconds, three, two, one, and relax, good, that's it, okay. So now we're going into a bicep curl, it's gonna be negative though. So, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna curl them up together, and we're gonna go down nice and slow. Curl them up together fast, go down nice and slow. We're gonna start this in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So, bring them up quick, but you're gonna take them down slowly, okay? And as soon as your arms get fully straightened out, bring them right back up. No swinging, though. Good, there you go, that's it. Perfect. Excellent. So, once they get down, bring them right back up nice and quick. Good. We got this. Come on. This minute will go by quick because these are slow reps. So, you'll probably only get like four reps out. Nope, we're at 30 seconds right now. So, you could probably get four more reps out. Good. Depending on how slow you're going. I think I just had a spider web blowing my nose. Good. It tickles. It tickles so bad. <laughs> Oh, I want to scratch my nose. Just got to finish the minute though. 10 seconds left. Come on, you got this. There we go, there we go. We'll extend it, bring them back up. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. There you go. Three, come on. Two, one, relax. Good. Woo, spider web on my face. Okay. Now we're going to move along on this one. This time we're going into an alternating shoulder press. So you're going to press right, left, right, left. Okay, we got 15 seconds till we start. So shrug it off, relax a second, enjoy life again. Good. All right, eight seconds till we start on this. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bring them up to your shoulders, press the right one, and then press the left one. Perfect, 
Press the right, press the left. There we go, good. Come on, you can do this. 30 seconds. Here, I'll tell you a story while we're doing these for the next uh, few seconds, not 30, we got about 40. So, my wife and I have noticed that there's been tons of like forks and spoons and not really knives, we don't get those out, but lots of forks and spoons that when you have kids, this stuff gets slung everywhere. Also a lot of pencils, um, let's see, what else have we got? I'm trying to think, a couple pairs of chopsticks, 15 seconds left, almost there. And a few other items that are kind of skinny and stuff like that, we noticed it disappearing like in an extremely fast rate, but we couldn't figure out what it was. Well, I got Milo yesterday, oh and toothbrushes, we've had toothbrushes disappear. Relax, relax, relax. That's what it was. So, we have a, a hole, a small hole in our wall that I put there when I was moving a couch by myself downstairs, okay? Which isn't smart to do by yourself, but I figured I could manhandle it, ended up putting a hole in the wall. It's a small hole, but come to find out, Milo was taking random objects and putting them in that hole in the wall, so we have no idea how much crap is in this hole, and we can't get to it unless we rip the sheetrock out, which we're probably not gonna do. So, all right, we're gonna go into a one-arm alternating row next in three, two, one, here we go. So if you got kids and you've got random holes in the walls, watch out, because they'll hide stuff in it permanently, forever. Don't get it back, all right? And for all of you that don't have kids, well, now you're prepared for that. Okay, so when things start disappearing, you're gonna know. All right, we're gonna keep rowing. You're gonna pull these all the way up into your shoulders, all the way into your shoulders. Pull them up into your rib cage. If you pull them up into your shoulder, you got something wrong with your joints. All right, bringing them up, alternating. Don't do them at the same time. So you can pick your pace up on this, but make sure you're keeping your head up. Keep that back bent at the hips and straight everywhere else, okay? And I do keep a slight bend in my knees when I do this. Good, pulling it up right back down. Just going for a full body toning today. That's it, good. Come on, you got this, we got eight seconds left. Keep landing on the eight second mark. Good, you can do it, keep alternating. It's technically only 30 seconds on both sides this way. And relax, good, okay. So now we're gonna do an upright row. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. You can use one or two, but you're bringing the weight right under your chin and then right back down. All right, we're gonna start in eight seconds. And three, two, one, here we go. So I'm bringing the weight under my chin. I'm keeping my elbows pointed up to the ceiling and then coming right back down. Good, there you go, that's it. Follow the invisible line on your body. Good, that's it. Bring it up, back down. Up, back down. Good, we're about 20 seconds in, so not a lot of time yet. Getting close though, and you're doing perfect. Come on, there we go. Good, that's it. Come on, you can do this, we got 22 seconds. Almost there, rep after rep. Good, keep moving, bringing it up your body, lowering it back down in control, never letting it drop, do not let it drop. 10 seconds left. Come on, you got this. Almost there, five seconds, three, two, one and relax, okay. All right, we're getting close to the end of this sucker. So now we're gonna be doing a pullover with the dumbbell. So you'll be on your back. I'm gonna use two of them. And you're gonna go behind your head and then right back down to your chest, okay? We're gonna start this in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. So behind the head, bring it back to your chest and throw a press in there. Behind your head, try to touch the dumbbells to the ground behind your head, and then press it when you get them back onto your chest. Good, perfect. And your press may be a little different depending if you've got one dumbbell or two dumbbells, okay? Good, we got this, keep it slow, work through it. That's it, keep moving, you can do it. There we go. Come on. We're almost there on this one. We're doing good. 
We've got 10 seconds left. Almost there. Five seconds. And relax. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually the last exercise coming up in 30 seconds. So what we're going to be doing is a wide push-up. Okay, so nice and wide. Try to get your chest to the ground every time. Whew. All right, this is it right here. So we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Arms wide. Down. There we go. Good. Try to get that chest close to the ground. Take it slow. This is the exercise we started with. This is the exercise we're going to end with. Good. Keep on moving. That's it. Nice and wide with the hands. Pass shoulder width. Good, you got it. Down in control, up in control. Notice I'm not moving fast, but I am getting the reps in. Woo! All right, come on, 20 seconds. We're almost there. All right, I'm going down to my knees. Get these last few reps out nice and clean. Come on, 10 seconds. Almost through it. Good. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, and you made it, Fit Body Nation. We nailed it right on the time. You killed it today, like always. So make sure you're back tomorrow, ready to rock and roll, ready to hit tomorrow's workout. It's going to be hit abs, so you don't want to miss that. I love you guys. Subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.